Nathan Late is a third generation plant breeder working with his father Todd at Ausbreed, developing many new and improved forms of Australian plants which have enjoyed worldwide success. When it comes to breeding plants, there's a couple of different forms. Obviously, uh, genetic modification is always talked about, and then there's natural selection. What does Ausbreed do? Well, Osbreed chooses the natural selection technique, so yeah. it's normally taking about six to eight years per plant, wow. uh, and it's a lot of selection uh, over those years, uh, through generation and generation, until we come up with the uh, ideal plant. Now, mate, this is a tree I really love. We launched it at Mifcus this year, had huge interest from the public, Vintage Red. Yeah, Vintage Red has this really nice burgundy red new growth mm -hmm. with older purple foliage. It does grow into a 12 metre tree though, so keep in mind you have to keep it pruned if you're using it in smaller so backyards. So you can shape it down to keep it into a small tree without any problems, can't you? Yeah, that's correct. And it is the first of its kind um, and it's a really nice tree. Nathan, I'm a big fan of West Stringers. I reckon they're just fantastic plants. Tell us about this one. Well, this one here is Mundy. Yeah. It's a low growing form of Westringer with really nice white flowers. Seems to have sort of a bit of a cascading effect. Yeah, definitely. And what about shrubs? Have you got anything there? Yeah, up here we have Naringa, uh, which is a new lilac flowering form of Westringer. Uh, it's a very upright growth habit, making yeah. it really easy to maintain. That's beautiful too. Make a great hedge as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. This is beautiful. Now, what is this? It's a, is that a white Liriope Mondo? Which one is it? Yeah, it's a white Lirio. Uh -huh. So you cut it back in late winter, yeah. and uh, the new shoots in spring will be pure blonde like this. So that's the name? Yeah, that's the name, pure blonde. Okay, now I love the contrast of this against the, the black Mondo grass, the little dwarf Mondo here. How does it go being white foliaged in full sun? Okay, it handles full sun pretty well, though mm. you do want to keep it out of those windy, really exposed areas. So like most Liriopes, they don't like windy positions at all, yeah. do they? So just treat it like a normal Liriope. Yeah. This is Lamandra Katie Bells. Mm -hmm. So through spring and autumn, you'll get these really nice gold clusters of flowers. Yep. Uh, it works from the tropics all the way down south. So it's a really, it's good right across the country. Yeah. Um, I've got this at home in my own garden. I'm, I'm actually trialling a whole heap of your plants. I know you do tests right across the country to make sure that they're performing in all parts of the country before you release them. Yeah. It's a big part of what you do. Yeah, definitely. We do make sure that things are tested thoroughly before we release them mm -hmm. to be able to give our customers the right information of where they work and, and where not to use them. Well, this one is probably my favourite at the moment. Mate, thanks for showing us around the garden. Absolutely brilliant.